everybody uh, and uh, again welcome to uh, the Disciples Motorcycle Ministry here in uh, Kristiansand. Uh, this is the international headquarter and um, uh, yeah it's uh, awesome to sit out here even in October to, uh, to see the leaves falling from the trees and uh, uh, awesome temperature and uh, it has been uh, uh, yeah, it's been, been some rainy days, but still the temperature and everything has been so uh, so good. So still we are out riding and uh, it's still some time until the winter comes, I believe. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of uh, nice colors on the trees and uh, it's awesome to drive around in the nature right now. Well, I am um, enjoying life, uh, especially these days, uh, especially after this summer where... I almost lost my life a few times, and um, uh, it has been uh, it has been uh, yeah a lot of thoughts that uh, runs through your mind, you know, and um, you can uh, you can choose to, uh, to 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 look at the situation, you know, and the troubles that are around you that attacks you all the time, as I said a little bit about in the last uh, movie, and. Um, uh, you, you can you can choose to to look at your own situation you know and your your focus will be a little bit like this you know uh, and you cannot see the victory you cannot see uh, how it's going to end uh, but when you focus on the right things uh, you can you can see yourself on the other side of that mountain victorious you know and um, and I, I wanted to to um, uh, call this uh, film as the headline is uh, why didn't God spare me from this, you know, because uh, uh, I'm sitting sometimes, you know, and I'm like, Meh. <laughs> uh, I have pain in my arm, I have pain in my hand still and in my one of my foot after this, um, after this uh, fire that I was in. And because uh, I had to take uh, a door down and all. And um, uh, then you are thinking, why didn't, um, uh, why didn't God spare me from this? You know, you know, he healed my heart. He healed my lungs and healed my wings. And uh, he did a miracle and he saved my life several times, uh, you know. And I, but why didn't, you know, and then I focus on, on the trouble instead of, uh, the victory. Uh, so you don't get to choose every situation. You know, this is what I'm landing on. You know, you don't get to choose every situation, but you get to choose the story. All the power of God is in that truth. So you choose the story you tell yourself. You choose the story you tell to the people around you. This summer has been a tough one uh, where my life was on the line several times, as you know. So I was knocked out for some time uh, and that was not... Uh, as that was not enough, you know. The garden brick wall was falling out uh, and we had to dig up everything and uh, fix this uh, garden uh, putting up new fans and it all uh, was a lot of lot of work you know uh, but when you sh you are struck out knocked out because of uh, the situation and uh, uh, you are not able to be part of it in any way because of the health situation that's uh, that's doing something to you you have to call in help you have to hire people to do everything then when we are in the middle of this uh, the pipe on the second floor is uh, bursting and there is flowing water everywhere you know for several hours uh, everything was soaked uh, from the second floor to the first floor to the ground floor um, you know everything all three stories you know was uh, flooded and we um, had to tear down walls, the roof, uh, uh, the floors, uh, 
everything had to come down and build it up again and um and uh we had again to call in companies to help us out and uh, uh a lot of things going on at the same time we we move into one bedroom and uh, uh we had uh, another office that uh we put all the furniture in and we had like two seats and the TV, you know, and we had it like this now since, uh, yeah, since July. So it's been, um, it, it, you, you can look at the situation and you can think, man, all this bad stuff is happening. What, it, what's up, you know, <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah. And, and, and then in the middle of it all, my car broke down and um and then we had some lawyers uh, attacking us for something so uh, in all of this you are sitting there and just watching one thing after another before the first one is finished the third one is starting and it's exhausting you know it it drains you for strength but uh uh but the the strength is drained because the focus, when you focus so intensely on this and not on the solution, it drains you for the strength. Uh, so if the situation is hard, you can tell it that way, that it is hard, you know, or like I just said, you know, I guess God uh, is not with me on this one, you know, that could be natural for many people to think you know i heard people saying that in situations they've been to uh what if jesus was thinking like this when he was on the cross you know i guess i guess he, i didn't hear him right on this one <laughs> you know you hang in there you're dying and man he failed me you know no nah, if he did that you know maybe it would have been that situation but no he was victorious and the victorious is uh, the victory is the focus that brought uh, uh, that Jesus brought to the attention. You know, it's victorious. He won over death. He won over the grave. He took the keys, and it was an amazing situation that changed the world. And that's a victorious story. That's the focus we need to have. Um, and, uh, yeah, another story, how you can choose to look at it. Uh, this is so hard that it has to be God, you know. <laughs> the devil must have got the memo that I am doing something good, something right, you know. <laughs> so he is attacking me with everything he got. Don't give the devil a seat to edit your story. Only you get to choose your story. My story now is that he healed me he healed my heart he healed my lungs and he healed my veins he gave us the means to fix it all and to get people to fix it friends and family that came and helped out again and again and again the insurance was covering most of the house fix and we will even get some new furniture you know <laughs> and uh and wow, my, my God, he is blessing our socks off, you know. <laughs> and um, in the middle of it all, he is blessing us. So we will get out of the situation better than when it all started. Praise Jesus. You don't always get to choose the life situations that uh, bring suffering. But you get to choose how you can tell this story. You suffered enough. What you're going through is hard enough. This is heavy enough. But my story is still about a great God who picks me up when I'm down, who comforts me when I'm sad, gives me strength when I'm weak, and he heals me when I'm sick. I can choose to focus on my arm or uh, on my foot, or I can rejoice over that my heart is healed, that my lungs are healed, that my veins is back to normal, because my healer lives. 
He backs me up and he makes me victorious. You can tell me he's not for real and is not with me, but you can't tell me it is over because I know too much. I saw it myself. I was watching it with my own eyes. I was looking at the screen and I saw the impossible had happened on the screen. My heart was in perfect condition when my veins and my lungs had the poison damage. That's impossible, they said. Well, nothing is impossible for my God. You can tell me what you heard, but I can tell you what I saw. If you go through some storms now or, um, or go through hell like I have done, you still get to choose the story. You get to tell your story of this season. You could tell, I go through the valley of death, but you could also say, he sets the table in front of my enemies. Amen. It's the same situation, but it's a different story. Peter left out a part of the story in the Acts 10.39. He says, I saw it. I saw he paid the price. They hang him on the cross. But there's a comma after that in verse 39. He didn't leave out the rest, you know. Then verse 40 is coming and it is about he rose again. There is a hole in your story. Put your finger in the hole of his hand. Jesus came, you know, after he was risen. He came and he put out his hand and said, you know, you can put your finger in my hole in my fingers, in my hand, you know. You can, you can put your finger there and you can see for yourself that I have won a victory. I am risen. I am alive. I am for you, not against you. I am with you through everything. Amen. He was and he is victorious. And the hole in your story is making all the difference in the world. Amen. Amen. So Jesus, he is Lord in all situation. In all of this week, through all these months that has passed, you know, through all Corona, through everything, he will still be victorious. On the other side of this mountain of all trouble or all comments or all uh, fights on the internet or wherever, on the other side, we will come out victorious. We will walk through it victorious. He will be with us through it all. And we will all be victorious. Amen. So have a blessed week. Stay blessed, you know. You are already being given all blessing in Him. So, so stay blessed this week. Amen. And amen. And amen. <laughs> See you soon.